So my name's Hilary Brown and I'm the um, tutor for international students here at the Health Services Management Centre. And my involvement with international students starts at the point at which they submit their application to us. So I review all of the applications and um, consider whether to make an unconditional offer or a conditional offer uh, depending on the application. Um, and then once we've made an offer to students uh, before they actually join us uh, when our term starts in September, uh, myself and a colleague from the administration team are in touch with international students, um, sending them through different bits of information and just letting them know that we're here for them if they have any particular queries or if there's any information that they feel they want. Um, it can be quite a confusing time for applicants because they'll have lots of emails from different parts of the university um, telling them what they need to do before they start here. So we are a point of contact for them in case they, they're not quite sure who to go to or what they need to do. Um, when they start with us in September, we have an introductory week and the international students um, join in with all of our other home students um, during that week but we do also run um, a session specifically for the international students so they can get to know each other because they will probably form quite a close group during the course of their studies with us and we also um, go through in some detail the background to the National Health Service because although we're very aware that students come to study here um, from other countries because they're interested in um, various concepts and overarching themes, um, we're also aware that they are interested in the NHS as a health system. So we try and help them um, get up to speed um, relatively quickly um, and understanding what the National Health Service is all about. Um, and then during the course of their studies, um, international students will have um, separate learning sets, which I take, and during those learning sets, which are spaced throughout the year, um, we will cover particular topics of interest to the students, and that might be um, a topic that is completely new to them, um, or it might be um, a topic which is specific to how our NHS is structured. Um, and we can also look at assignment writing, developing particular skills, and later on in the year we also look at dissertation writing. So those are the formal learning sets and interspersed with those we also have informal seminars uh, which aren't mandatory um, but students can come along and take part in those and they would tend to be based around modules that the students have undertaken um, but we perhaps go into a little bit more depth about a particular topic or we can perhaps go a little bit slower than um, the topics being covered in the module, just in case students might be struggling a little bit to understand that particular topic. Um, that's the support that we provide. And of course, I'm always available to the students if they want to meet with me or if they've got any queries, they can email me. The university itself provides a whole range of services and facilities to all students and there are some facilities that are specific to international students. So on our first learning set, some of those um, departments will come and talk about what they can offer international students. So for example, we do have um, a department which specifically helps international students with English language skills and they run a whole program um, throughout the year of different lunchtime drop-in sessions and workshops and seminars on particular aspects of the English language, whether that's writing an assignment or understanding what is meant by critical thought. 
Um, so those particular sessions are very helpful. They also run um, visits and outings so that students can also enjoy uh, the more social aspects of their time with us because that's as important for some students as the academic element. So they'll go and visit places um, of particular interest, perhaps like Stratford, where Shakespeare was born, um, or Warwick, where there's a particularly nice castle. Um, so areas um, of historical um, interest locally and further afield. And there's also the International Student Support Service. Um, now that's important for international students um, who might have queries about their visa, um, they might have queries about their status whilst they're with us, um, they may need to travel um, whilst they're with us, and these are all um, areas where students must seek the advice from the International Support Services Office um, because they know all of the requirements and the regulations that affect those kinds of issues. There's also the Welfare um, Student Support Service available and that can help students who might be feeling perhaps a bit homesick um, or they might be feeling a little bit anxious about their studies um, and there's a range of different services available one-to-one um, -one counselling or even some group sessions on relaxation techniques for example and of course as you would expect from a university like Birmingham there's a full range of other social and sporting facilities um, on campus. So there's a lot on offer here um, for international students and we certainly hope that our students make the most of everything that we have available to them during their time with us.